Hi you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you my summer homeschooling update. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's go ahead and get on into this thing, you guys. So if you guys haven't seen like my summer plans and like all the stuff that I originally had planned for our homeschooling summer, then go ahead and check out that video. I'm gonna put it in my iCards and in the description box below so you guys can actually see what I planned and what actually happened this summer. So our summer, you guys, is cut pretty short because we are starting year round homeschooling. So our tentative start date is going to be July 18th, but if anything happens, I will push us back to July 25th too start our school year so I'm really really excited for us to get like our soft start to our school year to really uh, just begin like our learning experience for um, this homeschooling year so um, yeah so you guys I'm gonna go ahead and first talk about like our biggest fail which was definitely uh, our chapter book read alouds so um, we actually didn't read any chapter book read alouds um, it was just so crazy like every single time it was time for us to, like pick up our chapter book read alouds they didn't happen <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you why they didn't happen it was because we were making a lot of trips to the library this summer you guys like Brielle has been devouring um, like some books she has really been like reading a lot this summer and I'm really proud of her and every single time we went to the library it was like a new picture book or some other book she was interested in um, mainly picture books so we've read a lot of picture books together so I have her uh, reading log right here because I wanted to like record all the books that she read so I'm gonna go ahead and name off all the picture books we read these are books I definitely will recommend to you guys because they were really really good so the first picture book we read was change sings we've read Alan Born I am every good thing a story about Ify I will be fierce ambitious girl the year we learned to fly eyes that kiss in the corners Sule, Cannonball, which is one that I own. You guys, that book was so good. Um, we read Dear Reader, and we also read Eyes That Speak to the Stars. So those are like all of the picture books that we checked out from the library that were so, so good and so like inspiring. Like a lot of these picture books, you guys, like if I find them like on thrift books or on book outlet where I always shop for all of my books, I definitely am going to grab some of these titles because they were all such like great and like empowering um, picture books. So I'm so happy um, that we did do a lot of reading, even though it was like in our chapter books we still did a lot of reading this summer so I'm still proud of me and Brie Brie for uh, just uh, still reading now as far as books that Brielle read independently she did an awesome job she read I think almost 10 chapter books so I'm gonna t uh, name off all of the chapter books that she read and again we utilized our library a lot this summer so the first uh, chapter book she read was when the world turned upside down she read more to the story a soft place to land a mall unbound she read a royal guide to monster slaying so those were the books she checked out from the library and she enjoyed now some of the books that she didn't um, finish off that she already had on her bookshelf at home was the Sophie Washington series so she finished reading the last three books of that series you guys this Sophie Washington series is definitely a great series especially if you have like a young girl between like the ages of like eight and I should I really would say eight to twelve because these were like really really fun readers and we really enjoyed these she also finished off reading Amber Song, which is a series that goes with Ainsley's Bank, Bake Off and Ashton's Dream. So this is like the last book in that series and Brielle really, really enjoyed this series right here. So right now from the library, what Brielle is actually reading, she is reading Omari Rising. And she, we recently checked this one out from the library. So she told me she wanted to continue with the series. So this is the second part of Amala Unbound. So she told me she's really enjoying this one. And then another book that she's seen that she's excited to uh, dive in next is Zoe in Wonderland. And she already told me she wants me to buy this one for her. So, oh my gosh, like Brielle is gonna kill the bank when it comes to like our book budget because she just wants all the books. But 
we have been doing really really good like utilizing our library and I've been telling Brielle like we have to use our library more we have to like stick to our book budget so <laughs> yeah so uh, Brie and us I guess we did pretty good when it came to like our reading and things like that now as far as like uh, what we did uh, to continue on with like actual book work we actually uh, was working on Saxon a lot this summer um, we started off or we ended off our school year on lesson 64 and we are on lesson 80 right now so Brie did an awesome job this summer we had to take a few lessons in here slower we had to do we had to break them up into two days because it was some new concepts that Brielle was understand oh that was she was having like a hard time understanding but overall she's doing really really great with this program um we are on lesson 80 of 120 lessons and while I love Saxon so 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 much like I love this curriculum it's definitely a solid curriculum I'm finding it's a couple of concepts that Brie Brie needs to work on and um because we're so close to finishing this I'm not too sure you guys like I'm just gonna go ahead and let you know I'm not too sure if I'm going to advance her into seven six just yet um I think I may use some of the supplemental practice that they have in the back for us to like practice some of these concepts that I'm seeing she's struggling with a little bit more before we move on to Saxon 7.6. I looked through Saxon 7.6 you guys and the rigor actually bumps up like quite a bit and it moves pretty fast compared to this Saxon 6.5 so I want to prepare her as best as I can for Saxon 7.6 because I know that that's only one level before you get to pre-algebra so I really want her to be prepared and I really want her to have mastered and honed in on these skills. So uh, right now that is my goal for Saxon is that after she finishes this, I think I'm going to uh, make sure that she has solidified those concepts and if she hasn't, we will just take this baby slow before going into Saxon 7-6. So that is uh, my goal as far as math. But she did really, really good this summer and I'm so happy that we like kept on going. Now, something else Brielle worked on this summer was her vocabulary. You guys, this school nest vocabulary notebook is so cute, and Brielle really has retained a lot of her vocabulary uh, by using this school nest notebook. And we are going to continue this vocabulary style throughout the school year. So I'm really, really excited about us doing vocabulary like in this non traditional way. She definitely has been retaining it. These uh, flashcards that she uses from um, Sullivan Learning have been really, really great in showing her uh, the part of speech, the pronunciation, uh, the root words. So she's really, really uh, honing in on that vocabulary skill that she needs to work on. So um, I'm so happy about that. Now, as far as my toddlers go, you guys, like they're just <laughs> being toddlers, but um, I really wanted to do a lot more units in this plan preschool with them. Uh, so far, we have we will have completed two units. So we did the nursery rhyme unit, we completed that one. And right now I have a few more lessons for us to complete the clothing unit that we have been doing, which has been so much fun. You guys, like I completely, like I love this plan preschool curriculum so, so, so much. But I will say um, it's teacher intensive because you have to get like all the activities, the supplies and things like that. Um, you definitely have to be prepared when using this curriculum. Um, but it's definitely worth it because my daughter has retained a lot now going into our school year I already know like this may get shelved a little bit just because we are going to primarily focus on a gentle and a classical preschool which is going to be um, Leia's core my four-year-old's core when it comes to like her pre-k curriculum however I did pick out a couple of units that we're going to be doing um, in this plan preschool um, pretty much in the springtime we're going to do the um, weather unit we're going to do and we're also going to do the I think I tagged it right here we're going to do the water unit as well because Brielle is going to be doing in her science curriculum this upcoming school year she's going to be studying space and water and weather um, it's going to be a fun way for me to like connect both of the kids when it comes to science and it's really going to mainstream it for me so I'm really excited to utilize the activities in here once Brielle gets to that in her science curriculum so um, that's just my tentative plan right now. I really don't know what's going to happen, but um, I do thoroughly love this and I enjoy this program. I definitely will recommend this one because we had so much fun this summer doing um, playing preschool. 
Now you guys, I wanted to share with you some of the books that I have read and what I have gotten up to this summer. You guys, I really have been trying my best to take care of myself this summer. Um, I know I am preparing for a marathon. <laughs> this is going, I'm going into my third year of homeschooling, you guys. So it's like, I already know what to expect. I already know that uh, I am gonna get burnt out. I already know all of those things. So this summer, like I have been really trying hard to like fill this mama cup up. So I've been like just doing a lot of pleasure reading. So I have read two of the Bridgerton series and if you guys follow me on Instagram you've seen like all the times that I posted these books that I've read and I have really been enjoying this series, uh, reading this historical fiction. And um, I have the rest of the series are ready to go on like my bookshelf and I want to definitely make sure that I spend that time to take care of myself throughout the school year. So um, I'm going to challenge myself to pick up some of my just pleasure reads. So uh, yeah, I really enjoyed these two this summer. I also have been doing a reread of Rhythms of Renewal. This book, you guys, is amazing. Uh, I love this book. So um, I'm definitely trying my best to finish this one off, but I'm still taking my time on this one. Uh, it's a great read. And the main book that I'm reading right now has been A Place to Belong by Amber O'Neill Johnston, celebrating d diversity and kinship in the home and beyond. This book, you guys, has been so amazing for me to read. And I have been getting very emotional reading this book. Um, I would recommend this to any homeschooling family. Like, just pick up this book, read it. You will not regret it. <laughs> but um, this has definitely been a great read. A lot of the things that she talked about in this book, I'm going to try my best to implement those things uh, just in my life, in my homeschool, in my family, just all of the things because she really drops a lot of you know good nuggets in this book. So um, this has been a great, great read. So I'm gonna be so sad when I'm done with this book. So I'm taking my time, but it's been great. So you guys, um, some of the other fails that I feel like this summer we failed on is um, we didn't do any field trips. Like I wanted us to go to the zoo and you know, go to the aquarium and do like some fun type of things. But you guys, I'm not gonna lie, we have really been enjoying just being at the house. <laughs> um, my uh, daughter, she's been enjoying like hanging out with her cousin. They've been going to the pool and you guys, we have just been so laid back. And I think that's probably best because that's probably just what we need it just this like slow pace um brielle has been uh continuously writing doing creative writing she finished another one of her stories and um she's been uh drawing a lot on her ipad on procreate you guys she's been getting really really good on procreate so she's been doing that. She's been uh, doing like a lot of just free drawing. So uh, Brie has really been like thriving in this like laid back uh, environment that uh, we're in right now. So um, you guys, that really, it has been our summer. Like uh, I still would call it a success even though I didn't like hit on all the things that I wanted to hit on. Uh, but I still feel like we really, really enjoyed ourselves. At least I enjoyed myself. I asked Brielle, has she enjoyed herself? And she definitely said, um, yes. So you guys, um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you all are still like having a great summer. You're enjoying like uh, your family, your friends, just all the things. Um, as you guys are gonna see on my channel, I am going to uh, start putting out like my uh, get ready for homeschool videos, my homeschool prep, get it all done type of videos. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, watching that playlist as I drop some of those videos out as I'm preparing to start my school year. So um, yeah, so you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoy and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.